What's good, everyone? This is the kid DC Wrestling back with a good, another video. Uh, this is not gonna be your typical SmackDown review. Honestly, if you even looked at SmackDown tonight, this wasn't even your normal episode of SmackDown. Um, they this was really just them recapping 2021, breaking down all the best moments that took place this year. So, again. I am not here to do your normal SmackDown review, but since I did promise a technically a SmackDown review, I was like, would it be New Year's Eve? This is most likely going to be the last video I'm ever, I'm ever going to make of 2021. Might as well reflect on this year for the channel. But before I get into that, man, we got some wrestling tea. Tony Khan, man. Holy crap. I don't know if you guys heard, man, but uh, y'all know Big Swole, right? The uh, AEW female wrestler who decided to part ways with AEW. She came out today and basically said that one of, if not the, the biggest reason behind her departure in AEW was because of the lack of diversity. She felt like that a, there was a lack of diversity in AEW and she just felt like that the lack of diversity just wasn't good enough and the lack of opportunity and stuff like that. And that is basically why she decided to leave AEW. And Tony Khan, Tony Khan, Tony, Tony, Tony. He decided that, you know what, I'm not just going to let this chick say this and get away with it. So he, while promoting AEW Rampage tonight, which is taped, by the way, he went at Big Swole and said that the reason why I got rid of Big Swole was because she wasn't good enough. This led to wrestling Twitter exploding. Now, there are some people that are defending Tony Khan for his comments, but a majority of people are upset at what Tony Khan calling him unprofessional. Tony, you shouldn't have done that. And to be quite honest with you, I mean, they're kind of right. Let's be real here. I mean, you know, Tony, like you're the owner of a multi, multi billionaire company. You know, you don't see Vince McMahon, Stephanie McMahon, Triple H doing stuff like this. I know we give, you know, the WWE bat rep, but they don't do stuff about this. See, that's kind of been one of the main gripes with AEW and Tony Khan is, you know, they say stuff like this and, you know, some may look at it, oh, he's just joking around, but like, ugh, I don't know, dude, like, really? But yeah, um, I don't I don't think Tony should have tweeted that. I think I think he should have, uh, I don't think he should have done that. But who knows? Maybe Tony in a few days might issue an apology, but then again, he probably won't. But um, that's pretty much what I know, man. So like I said, it's all over wrestling the internet. So there's going to be more people talking about it. And um, But that was the big thing coming out of the wrestling news tonight. Um, but let's leave this on a bright side, man, because I wanted to talk about the channel this year. Oh my goodness, guys. I won't, I, I can't say it enough, man. This year has been the best year for this channel. You know, um, we started this year off with 30 some subs. I think we were like 36, 37. I can't remember, but we ended the year almost with 500. I was trying to, I was trying to get to 500, man. I, I really wanted to get 500 before the new year, but you can't win them all. So I'm fine. Um, I'm, I'm okay with not being able to reach 500. We're still going to reach 500 eventually. It's going to happen, but uh, I'm fine with it not happening here on new year's Eve. You know, you can't win them all. This was still a great year that just so much happened to the channel. Um, being able to interact with you guys, talk with you guys, and all that good stuff, making videos, talking about the one thing that we all enjoy the most, and that is wrestling. And it's just amazing. It's absolutely amazing, man. Like, I never expect this, this channel to get, to reach, you know, to get this many subs. Because I, I, I'm going to be real with you guys. After we, we got the 100 subs in March, I was like, I don't see us getting any more. And look... And not just that, I mean, over 100,000 views. I mean, just absolutely insane. You know, again, you take away the copyright strikes from the channel. This was a good year for the channel. And 2022 is going to be a great year because my bold prediction this is very bold. I can see us towards next year, December 31st, 2022, which I believe is a Sunday. I can see us either being on the edge or right at 1K subscribers. That is my bold prediction for 2022 for the DC Wrestling YouTube channel. But it's not just me. I may edit all the videos. I may promote them and all that good stuff. But you, you are the ones 
<laughs> we the ones that make this channel happen. So thank you guys for an incredible 2021. I mean, just, I can't say it anymore. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And 2022 is gonna be a great year. You thought 2021 was, was good. Trust me, 2022, we're gonna make sure it's even better. You know what I mean? Cause that's the only thing we can do is every year, let's step it up a year. Let's let's make every, you know, the next year better than the last. That That's the only thing we can do, right? So um, thank you guys, man, for tuning in to this video. I will be back tomorrow, man, with my day one review. This has been The Kid, DC Wrestling. So um, yeah.